What is up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how Windows 10 looks like on my Acer Iconia W4 tablet. Uh, if you haven't seen the installation videos, I suggest you watch that video and see that it is actually Windows 10 installed on this tablet, not rolling on a virtual machine or so that sort of thing. So anyways, let me show you that, let me show you these uh, properties first. So Windows 10 technical preview and Windows is activated. So let's go ahead and, and pop open the start menu, the most debated thing ever. So here we have the start menu. It's a combination of Windows 7 type of start menu plus Windows 8 start menu. So you have the, all your modern applications here and the traditional um, view like the most used applications are uh, sorted out over here. But the probably the best feature is that my computer icon is now here. So uh, previously you had to open the start menu search for computer and then open it in this version of Windows you can just directly open and click this PC and it opens the my computer also you can pin any folders here so it just becomes much much easier to navigate through Windows also if you see a little icon over here this is a, this is for this is to make the start menu full screen if I press this it becomes goes full screen um, it becomes much easier to operate on a tablet like this if I want to go back just press it again uh, here is your user account you can sign out lock change account settings um, administrator account does not work unfortunately and then again this is a technical preview so that's okay um, here's your power options sleep shutdown restart also, if you have noticed something here, uh, the search has moved to the bottom of the stop menu. But this is search integrated with Cortana. So if I tap this, and go to settings, you can see here this is Cortana. But she is currently off because I haven't set it up. I'll make a separate video on that. Um, anyway, so if I if this search works like a regular search too. Like if I want to open an application, I can type say if I want to open Paint. So there's your paint. So if I want to open Notepad, so Notepad's open. Another cool new feature of Windows 10 is the ability to of modern apps to run in a window. So for example, I launched the People application over here. So previously on Windows 8, it would run uh, on full screen, but here on Windows 10 I can resize this make it smaller and it can't get yeah there we go make it smaller um, say I have people's application running over here I have Windows Store running over here and I don't know why it's not working yeah there we go I have store running over here and then I have the Xbox application running with it too So multitasking becomes much more simpler like this where I can switch between the applications and yeah you can use alt tab you guys can see using alt tab over here to um, toggle between applications. Also another feature of Windows 10 is you can create add another desktop to your window so if I click on add or not add a desktop I have a full desktop which is empty which does not have any open windows so I can open my own windows over here and if I want to see what's what's open on my previous desktop I can click over here task view and go back to my previous desktop where I open the modern applications and go back to my other desktop where I open um, some windows so this makes multitasking much much more easier so I can close it I can close these apps too also another thing which has changed from Windows 8.1 is the charms menu uh, if you guys remember you used to swipe in from the right which bring which brings the uh, so-called charms menu you had that start menu button in the center uh, settings on the bottom but on this version of Windows you have something called the notification center 
so here you get your notifications if you set up a mail set up the mail application you get different emails email list over here let's say for example a new mail arrived so to dismiss the notifications you gotta do swipe like this and on the bottom we have quick setting icons uh, if you guys are familiar with windows phone 8.1 you'd know what these buttons do but these are sort of quick settings so you can turn off your Wi-Fi here turn it back on turn off location um, let me just turn turn it off so if you're not using a touch the touch screen display you can access that from over here so another thing which has changed is the control panel so if I pop open all settings you guys can see now there's a slightly different kind of a view and let me just show you how it looks these are the system settings and what has changed over here is storage sense now photos documents music pictures and videos goes go can go directly to the SD card but applications and games cannot as of now that might change there's a new battery saver feature but I think this does not work because it doesn't, ha doesn't have any settings uh, your regular power options uh, you can select the windowing mode over here say for example you want to snap the application on the right or left and another cool feature is offline maps yes you can download maps offline so you can use it offline when you don't have an internet connection but as of now turn by turn navigation isn't av isn't available on this windows for 10 version um, though that might change in the future I don't know depends on Microsoft but as of now you can download an offline map and turn off your internet connection and still use it you can set your program default over here and I think that's about it and oh yeah I forgot about the tablet mode so say I have a few applications open I have the photo app open I have documents open I have calendar open so what happens if I turn on the tablet mode so if I turn on the tablet mode all the windows go full screen and the start menu also becomes full screen so this is particularly easy uh, to work with on a smaller screen like this and yeah your desktop kind of gets disabled so if I quit all these and yeah you cannot do anything on the desktop now but once you disable the tablet mode you have your regular access to your desktop but once again and I'm sorry I did forget to mention that the old Windows control panel is still available the UI you are all familiar with on Windows 7 and Windows 10 so traditional control panel is still available that's one good thing all the different settings are still there network and sharing center is there miscellaneous changes include uh, a redesigned window uh, so if I open my computer here you guys can see the border is much th much less thick than it was on Windows 8 and Windows 7 uh, it's almost like invisible border also there are new icons and slightly different animation from Windows 8 and Windows 7 so this is this is how the new Xbox application looks like here are my games which I bought on Steam uh, GTA 4 and Dirt 2 achievements messages go to the store And let me show you another app which has changed is the photos app uh, where is it the photo application looks much more cleaner now uh, much more responsive and you also get the full folder view but it is uh, 
it is still work in progress album is also work in progress here are some of the pictures that I took so you get to edit them right over here autocorrect I think uh, enhance filters light color effects retouching and that sort of thing another thing which I would like to show you is if I go to uh, window store there is word preview over here so let's go ahead and install this so I can show it to you uh, let's wait uh, it's showing completed though but let's just search So here we go, word preview. So this is a more touch friendlier version of Microsoft Word. You guys can clearly see it's much much more touch friendlier. So if I type but still it's a very basic application. I guess still work in progress. So let's go ahead and close this. Let me also show you the uh, music and video app. Let's go ahead and launch the music first. I don't have any music stored on this computer right now, but that show it over here. They should uh, they should show up in your collection, and you also have internet radio. Uh, you can explore the um, Xbox Music Store. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the video application. And these app sort of applications are much more suited to the tablet interface. So if I tap here go full screen and it's far more easier to operate with the touch so if let's go back so in addition to those two applications uh, traditional uh, windows media player is still available there we go So that's one good thing. So I guess this concludes these um, Windows 10 series and if I have missed out on anything please feel free to ask me. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And uh, lastly thanks for all the positive support on these videos and if you guys would like to know anything else about Windows 10 let me just know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer you. In the next few series, I'm going to be demoing Cortana on Windows 10. I haven't set it up yet, but I will set it up and I'll ask her a few questions. And I'll show you guys how to enable it. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching this video. And if you guys have any suggestions and that sort of thing, just let me know. I'll be happy to change if anything if you guys would like me to change. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and peace out.